all right what's going on ladies and gentlemen uh, so this is it man big booty x5 4.8 is I just picked up and it's in really rare color Le Mans blue so it runs and drives so I'll be working on that I'm super excited let me just uh, show you the car around so it has this uh, uh, rounded uh, big fat exhaust well obviously with the all the body kit and stuff that IS comes this is 2004 so yeah super excited it's the top dog I mean the car is super super clean uh, it has like around 165,000 miles but it had only two original owners so the first owner had it for 14 and a half years so it's been serviced his whole record in uh, dealerships because uh pulled up the carfax so it has a super clean uh, carfax i mean look at it it still even has the uh original uh, uh what do you call it clear bra well i'm gonna take it out because it's a little faded so i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna polish the car but it doesn't have any dents or scratches nothing it's just a normal wear and tear i mean for the mileage in the year is super super clean like look at it it's nice 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 also uh it has the super cool interior it's, uh, look at it so it has the alcantara uh interior i mean with the seats because i know not all the is come with the alcantara portion they usually leather but this is like the really special package uh yeah i mean look at it i mean it doesn't have the wood trim which i prefer this so it's more sporty well obviously the famous cluster uh, it lights up uh, let me see if i can get it running i mean it does run <laughs> yeah so obviously like any x5 it has the the famous christmas light uh i don't know the previous owner told me it's from this gear that sits on a transfer case so i'm gonna take it out change that i mean usually that's what it is because i do have x5 as well so i know uh i mean obviously it has his own cons and pros like for example the stereo doesn't work so I gotta figure it out but I don't care I'll figure it out but it's I mean a super clean car look at it yeah it's so clean um, it has the panoramic sunroof uh, what else huh. it's just I mean also the guy he gave me with like a bunch of receipts he like put i believe like around 3k uh, like what he's changed like he serviced the transmission like engine and everything i mean it's still sometimes check engine pops it says uh bank one crankshaft sensor so uh ordered that so i'm gonna get that replaced sometimes he idles rough because of that sensor i believe because i just scanned the car uh but overall i mean i mean like here small and things like see this is normal i'm gonna get this it has a, like a uh i've done it on my other x5 it usually like some plastic bits or something snaps in there so yeah so pretty much i'm gonna take the um this clear bra off polish the car well obviously i'm gonna change the black grills black hood vents i'm gonna remove the f uh, front license who cares right uh well i'm gonna tint the car retint the car a little darker i'm gonna tint the windshield as well uh 
Then uh, I'm gonna put uh, those aluminum running boards because they look super dope. Uh, I'm gonna lower the car a little bit, see how it's gonna look. Because obviously, usually the 4.8 ISs they come with the air ride suspension front and back. But the owner, he just swapped it out for just normal shocks and springs, so it doesn't have the air system anymore. Which I prefer, to be honest, less headache usually, they cause problems and stuff. So, I'm gonna just get h and lowering springs, lower it a little bit, so it's nice. Put the running boards, I'll actually show you my, this X5, see? Has a running boards, that's what I'm talking about, because I have another set of those, so I'm gonna put on them. And I can't decide if I wanna go, if I wanna put these wheels on that one or keep those. I do really like these wheels. They're from 4.6 IS. They're kind of rare wheels as well. I mean, I do have another X5. I mean, this one has the IS package on it. I mean, I've installed it. It's not actual IS, it's 4.4 Sport. So it does have a panoramic sunroof too. So it has the, the bottom lip kit, uh, all the flares, running boards, wheels from IS. Um, so this is like super dark. See, I've tinted the front windshield too. See black grills with the hood vents. It just looks super aggressive. So that's what I'm gonna do on this La Mans Blue X5 it's just oh my gosh it's, it's such a good looking car I just had a deal on this car so yeah I just want to like introduce this car to you guys before I'm gonna start working on it and then I'll take you step by step obviously by being a IS uh, I don't know if you can guys see it or not. It has bigger brakes in front. I mean, it has its own things, but yeah, overall, it's such a good looking car. I'm super excited, like, especially for the interior. Man, like, the seats, man, they're so good looking, so unique, like this aluminum looking trim is just ooh it's a good looking car i mean i think the color does like the color man just that's the, for me that's where the money is man it's just such a unique color good looking super rare color and well it's a facelift so 4.8 is so top of the line for x5 yeah, I'm pretty excited. I mean, not that saying black doesn't look good. Black looks really good as well. I really dig it. Cause, I mean, look at it. Black looks aggressive too. But, La Mans Blue, man, lowered. Probably I'm gonna keep these wheels to be honest they I don't know they're just more air and better looking so with this wheels running boards a little lowered man I'll like polish top I'm gonna do like three stage polish on it ceramic coat the car and put like I said black grills black hood wins uh, windshield tinted remove the front license plate it's just gonna be one good looking car can't wait to be honest well yeah guys stay tuned because i'll be posting a lot of content about this vehicle and i'm excited well thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one